the friend zone. We've all been there. And it's not a fun place to be. Honestly, I've pretty much been there my entire life. And uh, as a matter of fact, every single female friend that I liked, except for my first girlfriend, they all friend zoned me. With my first girlfriend, we literally became friends, dated, gone through a relationship. And two years later, three years later, Micah came. And that's how that cookie crumbled. As for the rest, during my non-cute days, I got friend zone left, right, center, north, south, east, and west. And even just June, I got friend zone. Even during, well, I look a little bit better. You know, I'm not a five anymore. I'm at least, I would say I'm at least a seven. Anyway, throughout my experience, I've done a few things, especially up until June. I want to give you guys my opinion on how you get yourself out of the friend zone because I would say the first mistake a lot of us dudes make, which I made myself, is that when we do get friend zone, we decide that we want to pursue even harder. We want to focus on that girl even harder. We're just like, yo, this is a challenge, but bruh, when she begins to tell you that you're like a brother to her, step back because trust me, I don't think women really want to have sex with their brother unless you're into that type of thing. Let me tell you two stories. So, story number one of my second ex. Uh, I escaped the friend zone by pursuing even harder, which is not the way you should go about it. I just got lucky. It happened once and it probably ain't ever happening again. So pretty much how we started off was we were friends uh, and then we started talking. We ended up flirting. Sexual tension was increasing. I pretty much you know, said, yo, let me come true to your place. She was like, okay, sure. And then we ended up... <laughs> so me and her were okay with just having sex. We were cool with it until my simp ass decided that I wanted a relationship. So I started pursuing a relationship with her, which I eventually got in. But before that, she was just like, nah, I ain't ready for a relationship. I just want to stick with doing this right now. We cool. Just, you know, keep your distance. The reason why I say that is because some people will think, some dudes will be like, yo, Simon, like, you weren't friend zone. You were hitting it all the time, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't even all the time. It was probably like once a week or something. But anyway, you're hitting it all the time. Like, yo, you can't be friend zone is it friend zone when you just don't get anything no friend zone to me is when you decide that you want more intimacy from your friend more than that friend wants from you so once you step out that boundary of what you guys are both comfortable with you are friend zone if she wanted a relationship with you even though you were just okay with sex then i'm sure you're gonna friend zone her Am I wrong? But then again, for those of you guys watching this video, you're the one being friend zoned, so you don't even really know. So, sorry. Anyway, eventually I continuously pursued. She went to Jamaica, she came back, caught feelings for me, and then we both just got into a relationship, which I eventually ended nine months later. Yes, I know I'm a douchebag, I apologize, we're cool now, so please don't be this to me in the comments. I had my terrible times too, okay? I wasn't always a, a great guy that you guys thought I, well, I'm sure you guys didn't even think I was a great guy, so never mind either. But yes, that is not the way or the optimal way to get out of the friend zone. That was luck. Let me tell you a different example, which happened a lot more recently. The time I got friend zone in June and how I got out of that friend zone. This is more optimal for you guys, and I really want you guys to listen to this story. So, I met this woman back in February. We met at the club, uh, we danced together, caught a nice bubble, was blessed. And I didn't know this was gonna be a woman that was gonna impact my life in such a great way. Okay, so we became friends after the club. I hit, up, hit her up in the DMs and I got her number or she got my number texting me. And then we just developed a relationship over text for a bit until we started dating, okay? We dated, uh, things were going well. We had feelings for each other. You know, she liked me, I liked her, but she wasn't ready for a relationship where I more so I, well, I thought I was, I thought I was until she again helped teach me things to not continuously go down that bad path. So now I know better for the future. 
anyway, yes, she didn't really want a relationship, but she wasn't rejecting me, but she wasn't saying yes to me. She was more so like, let's go with the flow because she can't really pinpoint exactly how she feels, okay? She didn't want to say yes, I want a relationship when she really didn't want one, and she didn't want to say no, I don't want a relationship, and eventually she would have want one, and during that during the first few months, I was pressuring her like, yo, give me an answer ASAP because I ain't trying to waste my time, you know, blah, 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 which is totally the wrong, totally the wrong way uh, to go about it. Be patient if you're going to get yourself into something. Don't ever pressure somebody into a relationship. I ended up learning my lesson and I stopped. Eventually, I said, you know what, I'm going to go for the flow and have my fun. And it lasted for a bit until some things were happening. I started acting like I was her boyfriend at times, which was pressuring her in a way. And eventually, it pushed her so far away that she ended up friends only me in June. Ah, I just like choked on my. I tried to swallow and say June at the same time, so I like kind of like choked. Ah. So during that time where we were dating, before she friends on me. I was just like, yo, I'm gonna focus only on her because if I want her, there's no point in pursuing any other woman, which is wrong. Do not ever do that. Never ever just pursue one woman unless she's sure of you and you're 100% sure of her. She was telling me, okay, she was telling me that she was not ready to accept, you know, all of me or handle uh, all of my emotions because she's going through her own things. I'm telling you, your female friend will literally direct you on how to act with her. Listen to her and you will save yourself a lot of trouble. And this year, I was getting the most attention that I've ever gotten from women. I was getting compliments. I even got one direct compliment at the club when I went on a boat cruise. Like, yo, when I saw you come on the boat, man, you were sexy as hell. Like, I want to talk to you all night, blah, blah, blah. I was like some white chick, but she was like foreign or whatever. I was just like, damn, like I, I did not get a compliment like that outside of somebody who I was already intimate with. So I was like, yo, but even then I turned it down and whatnot. I was just turning down any woman that was coming my way. Cause I was like, I'm gonna focus on this one girl. Yes, I was being a sim. But then after she friends on me in June, literally the day after, literally the day after, or yeah, I think it was the day after, I slid in a, I slid in a girl's DM that I pretty much liked before, I liked like years ago, and we talked, had a good conversation, found out that she was going to the club that weekend, I was going to the club that weekend, I was like, yo, let's like link up, blah, blah. And when I, when I met her at the club, I bubbled her. It was a nice bubble, man. Like, it was a blessed bubble still. It was a bless. It was blessed. <laughs> and then me and her just started texting on the phone, talking here and there. We didn't actually hang out, but we were just talking. And then we kind of became friends, acquaintance. Like, I was just like, hmm, okay, cool. You know, I, I opened myself up immediately to talk to other women since I wasn't doing that before. And then even just like two weeks ago or last week, I ended up really meeting another woman at the gym that I go to. I met her before, uh, but we didn't really talk. And then recently we really started talking, but I don't like her in that way. Like she, you know, I don't like her in that way. It's just a friend's thing. But again, my whole point was that I'm opening myself up to meeting other women, but I'm not, I'm not jeopardizing the relationship that I already have with the woman I've been talking to you about this whole time. I'm just like, you know what, let me meet more chicks, let me actually be friends with a lot of these chicks because that's what I would want to do, and then I would just, you know, still keep my relationship strong with her. I'm not going to be like, oh, forget her, she friendzoned me like a lot of guys do, but oh, she friendzoned me, I don't want nothing to do with you, F you, I'm gone, like that's whack because at the end of the day, she still did impact me in a great way, so I'm going to keep her around, and that's how I got out of the friend zone. I stopped desiring a relationship from her. I stopped pursuing even harder. Despite feelings being there, I was just like, you know what? It ain't the time for me to be with her, and I may never ever be with her. So open yourself up to being friends with her instead of cutting her off, and meet other women, because I always knew I was able to. I just decided to not talk to other women, and she didn't even tell me I couldn't talk to other women. I decided for myself that is not the right way to go about things. So if you were to open yourself up to other women and stop focusing on her, you wouldn't friends on yourself. You'll be okay with whatever outcome, you know, comes along with, uh, comes along with, with the friend that you have. You will be okay if you guys end up being friends 
or you'll be okay if you guys get into a relationship like you'll be okay you know so that's what i recommend you guys to to do if you ain't uh, if you ain't that cute though and you're really not confident uh, work on yourself again like i was somebody who i knew was just i knew there was things about myself that i want to work on so i grew my hair uh i got earrings i i, I work in my body i helped i improved myself to become a little bit more confident to talk to other women and now it's like i i do see some of the benefits and whatnot and it's just yo work on yourself first if you just feel like you can't meet all these other women like trust me it, it works you know i don't go out meeting other women i just live my life and i come across them and then boom i just talk you know i talk and things hit it off we just hit it off or whatever that's just how it works for me you know so again to get out the friend zone you really should just want the same thing as your friend wants do not go and cut them off because that's not really getting out of the friend zone that's just ending the entire friendship and just pursuing harder is not going to get is not likely going to get into a relationship it's more likely going to push her away so if she says she this is what she wants then just say hey you know what fine a relationship isn't going to be worth pursuing with you if it's going to be if it's going to end up losing you you get my point i hope you guys get my point <sighs> anyway i hope this video helped i hope you guys enjoyed some of the stories i told in this video uh again it's it's a sucky place to be but i'm telling you it's about self-control control your emotions if anything be friends with them first you know don't go all in unless you're just trying to smash them i don't know i can't really give you tips on that because i never really did that i was never that guy who was just trying to smash uh so yeah be friends let's be friends you will find a lot there's a lot of gems in actually being friends just friends with a woman trust me you you you, you grow as a person you do grow as a person so anyway i'm out of here stay blessed comment down below your friend zone experiences and your tips and tricks or whatever on how you get out the friend zone okay or how to not get in the friend zone y'all comment down below have a discussion i'm out of here again stay blessed always stay blessed okay done